Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, and in today's video, I'll be giving my review for Abigail. Um, now this one I was excited for. I was very excited for Abigail. Um, I love vampire films when they're done done really good, done good, well, really good, whatever. Um, I like the cast on this one. I thought this had a great cast on it with Melissa Barrera, Dan Stevens, Catherine Newton, Kevin Duran, I mean, really great cast. People I love seeing in other movies. Um, and this movie did not disappoint. Me and my wife went and saw this in the theater, um, and she loved this one as well. Uh, if she was here, she would have told you her thoughts, but she's not here at the moment. But I love this film. She loved this film. This, this film is was fun from beginning to end. I thought the acting was great. I thought the gore was great. Um, uh, I loved the ending to it, how it ended. I thought that was a nice touch. I thought, I thought that was a nice way of, of ending it. Um, that, you know, that way being a little bit, sort of a little bit different. Um, I think my only really big complaint with this film that I really have was uh, I felt like, I wish they could have been, I wish it could have been a little bit more creepier, I guess, I guess is the way to put it. I felt like they had her playing with her food, as she likes to say in this movie, a little too much, or just done it in a wrong way. Like, I would have loved to have seen her more, like, crawling up walls and, like, uh, or doing things where, that were a little bit more, more... Uh, creepier, like let the lighting have the lighting be a little bit more different, where it set the scenes up a little bit better, uh, more suspenseful. Um, because a lot of what they did was just her like doing her ballet dancing and stuff, and uh, which was fine, but it kind of the pacing was kind of a little slower than I wanted it to be. I was hoping it could be it'd be a little bit more fast paced. Um, film, so it, it was just a tense, tense slow, but nothing that really took me out of the movie, um, just kind of a little, little thing that I had against it, um, I don't know if my wife had anything really against it, I can't, I don't think she did, but I can't remember, but overall I gave this film a 4 out of 5, it, it's one of my favorites of the year, um, I still got more to watch. I'm behind drastically on the new releases that I want to see. I've got to start watching, watching them. But um, uh, but yeah. So four out of five for Abigail. Definitely recommend it. Um, finally, a, a, another vampire film that was great. So, but that is all. So please come like, subscribe, hit the bell, and we'll be all five for videos. We'll see you all in the next.